I'm Alois Rosero from Ping Skills. Today we're going to talk to you about the advanced forehand topspin. In our lesson on the forehand topspin, we've already shown you the start and finish positions. These are still crucial when you're trying to play an advanced forehand topspin. So let's first focus on the legs. To generate more speed or have the potential to generate more speed, we need to have our legs really bent and our feet wide. The second important part is the rotation of your trunk. This will start to increase the potential of the speed of our racket. So on our backswing, we're rotating back, and on our follow through, we're rotating forward. There's a transfer of your weight from your back leg to your front leg, but your legs aren't moving during the stroke. So your stroke at the start puts your weight on your back leg, and as you rotate through, then your weight goes onto your front leg. The other thing you can start to do is just vary the finishing position of your racket. When we're doing the basic forehand topspin, we're finishing right up here near your eyebrow. As you start to advance your stroke and perhaps try to hit the ball a little bit faster, you can get the bat finishing more forward. The important thing though is that you're still finishing up nice and high and not swinging down too low. The other important part is where your bat finishes. It's important that that bat doesn't finish past the centre line of your body. So here's the centre line. I don't want the bat going anywhere past that line. So this is a good position. Now it can be up here, right near my eyebrow, or it can be more forward, but wherever it is, it's not crossing that centre line of my body. If you do go across that centre line, you're starting to compromise your coordination and your recovery. If you do want a bigger stroke, you can twist your body through, and as you can see now, the bat still hasn't gone past the centre line of my body, so I'm still coordinated, I'm still balanced and ready to recover for the next ball. The other aspect of a more advanced forehand is that they're not going to be playing the ball straight to you all the time. So now we need to incorporate some movement. Thinking about what you can see on our basic footwork lessons, we move across the table. Now the important part then though is to make sure that you're stopped and ready and balanced to make that advanced forehand. So if we're in this position, the next ball's coming over to the middle. What I need to do is I need to make sure I move across, get a nice balanced position, and then start to engage my legs, my twisting, and my arm to execute a really effective forehand topspin. To advance your forehand topspin, you can use your wrist. Now, on the basic forehand topspin, we keep the wrist fairly firm and move your arm through in this sort of action. What you can do now is just relax the wrist. So on the backswing, it will flow backwards, and then on the follow through, it'll flow forwards. You're just adding a little bit of extra movement of your racket, which will increase the racket head speed, which will increase the speed and the spin of the ball. The next thing we're going to think about is the angle of our racket. Do you have your angle at 90 degrees to the floor, 80, 70, 60, 45? 
it becomes really complicated if you start to worry about the small degrees of your racket. A more important thing to think about is the result of what's happening with the ball. If the ball is going too far, it means you need to close your angle over a little bit. If it's going into the net, you can open your angle. Some other principles to think about are if your bat is moving slowly with a very closed face, the ball will drop off. But if you start to get a much faster swing with your bat, then the ball is going to grip the rubber and be projected forward. So there are a lot of little things to think about. That's why it's important that you don't make it too complicated. Have a look at where the ball's going and then make some minor adjustments each time. That's the way to get a really good advanced forehand topspin.